Hello there and welcome to King of the Hill, Season 2, Episode 9, Game 2. And uh, the players we have for you today are the reigning king in the north, Von Ivan. He's on the accumulator, he's won about three games right now, he's playing as OKW. And he's on a hell of a map to try and play on OKW on. Only Nagano, to my knowledge, can make OKW really work in a top-level scenario. We're going to be seeing if Von Ivan can do it on this map. Uh, I meant um, Arnhem Checkpoint. It is a very difficult map to play OKW on. Uh, Nagano invented a style on this map uh, that was pretty unique to him at the time in tournament level play. And uh, it was more about trying to get the trucks around this area, trying to get MG34s in these buildings, and, and you know, using clever Raketenwerfer play to his advantage. Um, Von, Von Aston, cracking player in the making. He's sometimes great. Sometimes a little bit lackluster, but he has showed moments of said greatness that have really, you know, pushed him on. And uh, he's he's actually had big upsets against top level composition before. Um, you know, in GCS he got knocked out by Devon, but uh, it was some decent games there. Since then he's had some good wins in King of the Hill, but he's up against the King himself. Von Ivan's dominated King of the Hill season two. Let's not pretend. Any other way, I mean, it, I mean, it has just mostly been Von Ivan completely dominating things. Had other players that have done well, like Nagano, Helping Hands, but uh, Von Ivan's been there every single week, except that time he wasn't. And uh, <laughs> and so it is one of those situations. In uh, central of the Wehrmacht OKW headquarters right now, we're having another photo grenade built. There's no drivers right now, they seem to be using this generator... Um, I don't know quite know where they are. Is there anybody inside the building? No. But that's what it looks like. Ah, they're running out of the building. The first grenade is excellent. Ready for battle. <laughs> and in the center of the map, the Soviets seem to be soaking everything up. Getting their fourth conscript out right now. Standard boring play. Let's all just uh, let's all just take a moment out and wait for the game to start. That's what I'm saying. So he's saying no game sounds. It's really quiet where I am. I'm sure there is game sounds. No, it's saying no game sounds. Hang on a sec, I can change this. Headphones, properties. Yeah, well said there. Obviously, starting my stream really quickly sometimes can lead to a slight problem there. We'll get that sorted for you. Luckily, it's been a really low key game so far. It's yet to heat up into full action. Um, let me get this sorted for you. Properties. Hmm. That's weird. Don't quite know what's going on there. We could use the speakers. That would sound terrible, though. Shit. Tech issues happening today. Oh, no. First down the stream fails, then I've got to sort this out. Basically, it's coming through. I know how to fix it. I have to put my headphones in the back of the PC. Bastard. Absolute bastard. Ow. I don't know what's going down there. You don't know what's down there. It could be bad, man. It could be really bad. Alright, okay. So then we change it to speakers. Alright, hopefully that works. Yes, it works. A fucking genius. So back to our regularly scheduled program, not A trying to go under his desk to plug a headphones in. Two conscripts in a Frenetic situation against Fudge Grenadiers to get around the, the rear side to get those shots in. Remove the cover bonuses Von Ivan was temporarily experiencing. Elsewhere in the east, we've got a very, very dangerous engagement from Ivan. What is he doing? Lack of preservation, Ivan here. And he's lost a Fudge Grenadier at the third minute in the game. He just heard that announcement come up and it's not what he wants to be hearing so early on. Folks going to be getting pushed away here. Can somebody uh, sensible in chat just confirm that all audio levels are fine, my microphone's fine, etc. Now, please. Sturm Pioneer, Sturm Gewehr's firing, Car 98's bringing up the rear. We've got a folks going to be awaiting. Von Knight needs to get back into this. He needs to do it quickly. 
It needs to do it efficiently because uh, an early wipe like this will set you back. But is Von Aster the kind of player that's going to take advantage of that situation? I mean, uh, the Dutchman has had his successes. You know, he's done well on ladder. He's got had good 2v2 teams with Hooligan and Von Aston, etc. But, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those situations he is up against somebody that can turn games around. A true, experienced, uh, in inverted commas, pro, pro Co2 player, Von Ivan in the north. Conscripts fanning out. They've got that early game advantage, but it won't last for long. Might have seen that shoe mine being placed by Von Ivan. We'll have to wait and see. Center of the base. Stern. Sorry, support weapon. Compania coming up. Tier 2 for the Soviets. In the OKW base, we're now having the first truck come down. Back to group headquarters. Stern Pioneers losing out there. Lose two men on the squad. Folks are going to beckoning them on. Much like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the film Predator. Do it! Do it now! He's bringing you into a trap there, Von Aston. You've not seen it. Von Ivan might even retreat a little bit further back. He throws an incendiary grenade to shepherd him into that situation. He's not worked, though. Von Aston must have seen that mine being placed, I guess. Meanwhile, Folks Grenadiers have taken the cutoff. Wearing into action. Maxim coming out for Von Aston. No choice out of the tech truck yet. Well, it's just completing now, actually, so we won't even have the option to have a choice. There we go. He's not really got the manpower, to be honest. Sandbag wall preparations on the fuel. He wants to not just take the fuel, he wants to keep the fuel and deny his opponent. Meanwhile, he's just now taking his cutoff back, probably tutting at that mine that did nothing. Or perhaps thinking his opponent must have seen it. Look at that probing up there. As that model jumps into the air after dying. That is uh, ascendancy into heaven, it must be, or something. Stern Pioneer is fanning out. Find the Maxim waiting for them. The great degree of prediction from Von Aston there. We could be waiting to see. It is going to be the flak half track. 251 slash 17. Two centimeter auto cannon. It's a great vehicle. It's got a concealing smoke, I think it's ace in the hole. Everybody would say it's an offensive thing, but its defensive capabilities are fantastic. It might be lightly armoured, but its ability to get out of dodge um, is, you know, is renowned. You don't need any commander abilities, you don't need veterancy. You can just do it. All quiet on the western front. Not quite, because Stormless has returned. You're doing that mid-game, Dan. I know. And uh, it's a good cast so far. Oh, thank you. Kind of rushing it and, uh, retro retrospectively passing with you. Oh, right. That's an interesting choice. Okay. Never had that happen before. <laughs> um, Folks, your ideas. In a difficult situation here, Conscripts are now going to have to regroup, put themselves behind that heavy green cover truck, and they had the Maxim waiting, so that's perfect positioning there from Von Aston. Flamethrower Combat Engineer is also going to try and keep the position. He's had fuel now, Von Aston, but no choices from Tier 3 yet. He doesn't want to wait either. He's going to go for the Ziskun. He's going to try and keep the uh, flak half track at bay. Instead of going for a, a, a light tank, that is a little bit of a possibly an overly defensive action. Some players here would instead wait a little bit and maybe get the tank out, but no, he's going straight for the Ziskun. Interesting. Shows a, a distinct amount of respect. And possible fear of Von Ivan there. If I can put in as well, um, Von is always going for this kind of set build. You know, he's uh, predictably going battle group around four bolts every time. So hopefully Von is going to be able to identify and capture this over time. Maybe he has something to do for it. What are you waiting for? Flak half tracks in the sense that Maxim's going to be in a little bit of duress. It won't be able to stay there for too long. Meanwhile in base, we've just had base healing come up for Von, Von Ivan. Conscript's now capturing the entire right side of the map. It must be said, despite people's possible predictions, um, Von Aston has done extremely well here against Von Ivan. I mean, everybody knows Von Aston's a great player, but uh, in, the, in this scenario, nobody would have expected 
him to do so damn well against Von Ivan in this early game. Von Ivan's had a lack of territory sectors. He's currently losing his high Enemy munitions point. So Von Ivan is now going to have to be a little bit defensive himself. He's getting the MG34 out, a little bit of crowd control. Roaring in with PPSH as the choice of commander is Lord Rifle Combined Arms Tactics. One of the most chosen commanders in Company Heroes history. Ziskun's now repositioning. We've got an Ura coming in from the east there. That must mean we've got anti tank grenades, I presume. Yes, we do indeed. All three upgrades from the base headquarters. Black off track, great positioning by Von Ivan. He's just bringing Von Aston onto him and waiting. MG34 lying in wait, just protecting the cutoff for now. Von Ivan now is in Von Ivan mode, where he's just going to try and get the armor onto the battlefield. This next five or ten minutes of gameplay is just a build from Von Ivan. He's just going to slow build into his tanks and play the waiting game and then he can unleash himself upon his enemy. Just like we saw in that earlier game, if it's not gone too well in the early game for Von Ivan, he is not too bothered. He knows he can be a great counterpuncher. He's an artist at it, in fact. And uh, reminds me of great players of days gone by, such as Symbiosis, for those of you that have been following the scene for a long time. They were great counterpunchers, um, waited until their opponent had the advantage didn't lose too much manpower, which uh, Von Ivan doesn't really do that much, but uh, it is about that great counterpunch. Be it waiting for artillery to be in perfect position or getting your tanks ready for a super flank and going balls to the wall. Straight to the wall action. ISG is the build for Von Ivan. I mean, it's an interesting unit. Some people would argue a little bit underpowered in the current build. I mean, it's not... You wouldn't just say it's underpowered and people don't use it, but it's certainly not a fearsome weapon. It's got its uses. Here we go, we've got the anti-tank grenade coming in with the T-70 also. Has he gotten it through the smoke? Yes, he has. T-70 coming in. Going to try and finish off the black half track now. It's going to get around the side of the arm, away from the hands of Faust, which has come in. Also, the Raketenwerfer isn't on the field. So the black half track has gone down and there is no answer. Usually Von Ivan would have had a repent for Von Ivan has not seen this conscript dying though. Stone Pioneers could get the YP here. Can they see him? No, they can't. Just about surviving. Keep an eye on the T70. MG34 also got decrewed and stolen there. Great play by Von Aston. Somehow surviving through that mine, that combat engineer. How did that one work? God, they're fast. What an incredible game play by uh, Von Aston there. So let's just recap. Conscript comes... Well, I'll do it on tap map. It's much easier. Conscript came through the building there, whilst the T-70 went all the way around the side. Concealing smoke didn't matter because the AT grenade locked on with that futuristic technology. And uh, the T-70 was then able to finish. We had no Raketenwerfer out by Von Ivan, which was a misplay in my mind. Instead, he built the ISG. Um, possibly, in hindsight, he would have built the Raketenwerfer now looking back. What damage has been caused? Let's have a look on the graphs. Army value did take a dive there. So because the Soviets and the OKW are now together on that graph, it now means Von Aston's ahead. Because, of course, OKW start with a lead on that graph um, because of the Stern Pioneers being so valuable. Conscript nearly died there. T-70 is going to get repaired and get back on the field. It only has one kill so far. And we all know that was the flak half-track. 55 fuel down the drain. He's rebuilding it, though, Von Ivan. That's an interesting decision from him. It shows that he's definitely pegged back right now and doesn't feel he can wait to get the Schwer up for 120 fuel and the Panzer IV up for 145. He's going to have to wait. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. PPSH is outrange, but the Moz and the Gants aren't, and he's got the flank off here, Von Aston. Waited, threw a Molotov, missed, doesn't matter, pushed him away. That's what he wanted to accomplish, and he did. t 70s back in action, reversing towards the enemy. Oh, the Raketenwerfer's been found out. Has to retreat away. Both shots miss. 
lives to fight another day. Conscripts are on the retreat path. Folks are ready to to engage. Half track back on the field. The sequel, will it be better than the uh, the first one? We'll have to wait and see. Red cover kicks in. Conscript will be able to get the kill though. T70 doing a great job. It's got an extra kill now to its bounty. What is happening here? They're firing at that house and there's nobody. They're killing civilians! It's like the campaign all over again. Incredible amount of little uh, nuances and bugs in this game. Maxim in a perfect position here to really punish Von Ivan. He's just not allowed him to the centre of the battlefield right now. And he's got a forward posted conscript to watch over the Maxim's back. Great positioning by the Dutchman. PPSHs versus. Never seen a battle on this side of the map before. That's a new one. I have to get a good view on that. It's a new feature in Company Heroes Competitive Play. But uh, Bonas never saw it, which is a shame. Meanwhile, Flak Off Track has been damaged. Where's the T70? Reversing into in the engagement yet again. Oh, he's got around the rear armor yet again. Great work by the T70. Misses, though. Where's the Rakettenwerf for all this? It is now positioning. It's got its uh, scope on, but it uses the half track's own concealing smoke, his own concealing smoke, to hide from the Rakettenwerf and get the kill. What a great play by the young Dutchman there. Fantastic by Von Aston. Faust comes in, but the damage has been done. The momentum of the T70 sends it around that building and away from the Rakettenwerf. Maxim comes in to block. Perfect play. That's now 110 fuel from Flak half tracks. That has been decimated by Von Aston. This gun set up just in case Von Ivan decides to get a, a tank out anytime soon, but we don't have any tech structures out. He's between a rock and a hard place right now. The rock is Von Aston's rock steady gameplay and that hard place is Arnhem checkpoint. Maxim gaining veterancy too. Coach Grenadier is heavily diminished. Cutoff taken in its entirety here. Fuel count check. Von Ivan does have a lot. Uh, enough to get possibly the Panzer Schwer headquarters out. But um, for now, he's just going to have to rely on a double raquette and set up. Panzer Faust. And uh, his heavily diminishing victory point counts. Von Aston has got to be thinking to himself, I've got the momentum. I'm in the lead. I just need to keep it up. You know, he's got to keep up this momentum, keep up this aggression. And um, do his damnedest to just continue what he's already doing. Von Ivan's now. He's got to shake things up. He's got to be aggressive. He's got to find something from nothing and get that counterpunch he's so good at. When he's on the ropes, sometimes Von Ivan can be the best at what he does. But right now, he's not just only on the ropes. He's in the corner and his, uh, if he did have a referee, they'd be a coach, sorry, they'd be ready to throw in the towel. Oh, huge Rakette and Werther shot in. No mines on the retreat path. Another Panzerfaust is in the way. Combat engineers, they're going to get into the house to try and stop. Is this Faust going to be able to get off? Let's get that angle. Oh, hits the side of the building there. That could have been a lot worse for the T-70. Rakette and Werther setting up, though. One last shot. One last chance to kill it. Uraz into view. Uses a temporary road bonus there and gets away. Maxim in a great position to deny the cutoff. Looking like uh, Arnhem checkpoints becoming GG City for Von Ivan right now. DPSHs. One of his. Uh, oh, Rakettenwerf was decrewed as well. The misery continues for the American. 18 minutes in, and the game looks over strategically right now. Look at the fuel count of Von Aston. Schwer is up, but he's going to be waiting. For anything else to come out. And this soldier's gonna be looking on the battlefield thinking, yeah, we're making this huge truck, but uh, I'm not sure what good it's gonna be. Nice, she has climbed to five kills. Maxim doesn't care though, he's gonna set up regardless. The other five guys are really lazy. They make one guy car carry this really heavy 19th century machine gun. Territory. 
Look at this map control coming in the east. He's got so much dominance. Gord's retreating. And uh, uh, you know what this is? He wants to get to this side of the map. What's the quickest way for that guard squad to get here? It's to retreat there and then walk to there. Because, of course, by retreating, you run very fast. So when your commissar asks you, It seems, Tavarish, you retreated at 19 minutes into the battle. Yes, but I wanted to get into the battle quicker. Oh, that's fine then. No worries. You, you don't have to go to the gulag today, Tavarish, because uh, that makes perfect sense. Well done. PPSH is now capped in the north. They'll be ready to flank now and uh, keep on the pressure. We do have the T-70 now at eight kills. Vetra C-2. <laughs> Tom Akazi uh, with a great point in chat there. The laziest of those 120mm mortar crew. They let a one man let one man carry uh, 1,000 pounds of equipment. <laughs> Bit of an exaggeration, but uh, your point is taken. Oh, PPSH did flank, just like I thought they would. Aren't I so great? And uh, they pushed away that stern pioneer. And are now able to just keep up the pressure. Somehow, though, Von Ivan has managed to keep on to that fuel. I don't know how quite he's been able to do that. Pompey and Tomikaze are brothers. They are GCS friends. GCS spawned a few real-life friends uh, last year. Wouldn't it be wonderful if there was some kind of secret event in the planning that could replicate such events. But uh, I just don't see that happening. Don't, that would never happen. It's ridiculous. Maxim on the cutoff here. I'm really surprised. Oh, we do finally have a T-34 being built. Could have gotten that a lot earlier in all honesty, but uh, he's been doing well with what he's got. Maxim's in a really dodgy place though there. I don't quite know what this one's doing. If he wants to watch this game back, he could have been more active with that machine gun. And I'm sure Von Aston is the kind of guy that will watch this cast back, even me going under my desk to fix my audio. Um, because it's one of those glorious moments. He's competing in front of 7,000 people. Um, you know, 600 in this stream and 5,400 people gathered in the town square of his local abode. It's a big event for, for him. The enemy has taken our supply sector. And now he has the cutoff as well, so Von, I Von Ivan's having to fan out to the east and push out over there because he's up against an extremely potent force right now, and that's Von Aston. Guards rifle, infantry, coming into view with their cloaks, their PTRSs, their DP machine guns. 3476 is now on the battlefield. Rakettenwurf has been found out. Blocks him. PPSHs can't get the shots in. Yes, they do finally. t 70s lining up its last shot. Will this be the last of the Rakettenwurf? Yes, it will. And now he's going to try and crush Focus Grenadiers and crush any further resistance of Von Ivan. Von Ivan is somebody that will stay in the game regardless of situation. He always has this dream of a comeback. But right now it's only that. It is a dream. Von Aston's looking potent, he's looking powerful, he's looking imperious right now. Rakettenwerf is being lost over here as well as that T-70 runs through its rocket as it misses. T-34 for the Rodina, Operation Bagration in full effect. Oh, Rakettenwerf it was. Attempted to be recruited, taken out yet again. Now he's applying further pressure. Von Ivan has an island of resistance, a Kessel, a pocket, a stronghold. But it's hardly a fortress, to be honest. It's more of the last remnants of any vestige of being the king. He's very much uh, going to be out of this game in no time at all with a triple cap on the go. A terrible OKW announcer just over our speakers. We have fallen to 25 buttons! <laughs> Sounds like a German George or Binks. Katusha singing a symphony of destruction and a lament and funeral dirge for Von Ivan. Not a single unit lost for Von Aston. I'll show you that now. The scene is looking strong, it's looking potent, 
and um, and Von Aston right now encapsulates that as a he is now king. That Dan is your cue to come back into Discord. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to jump in on that cast then? I I've got the audio I I levels could... right. You can't just jump in. I... Well, I know, Matt, I've got I... the stunning news from three minutes ago. <laughs> 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 I thought to myself, I can do some of that kind of generalistic casting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's, that goes on. And then, uh, yeah, you know, we, we tried. We tried. We tried. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just quickly pump up my stream and uh, we'll, we'll get back on with things. It's all sorted now. Sorry about that. Um, but I think that was the best cast we've ever done, to be honest. Best King uh, of the Hill cast the I've ever heard. the cast of, of King of the Hill and uh, King, you know, <laughs> perhaps I need to just retire. No, I'm joking. It's <laughs> Possibly, possibly one of the worst, I'd I'm, say. I'm really sad that we didn't get to cast that together because, uh, oh, really? was, uh, you know, like, Von Aston's a, a good newcomer. Do you know what mm. I mean? Uh, do you want to call me on Skype quickly? Well, technically we did. You jumped in for those three seconds. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let me jump in on Skype a sec. Okay, no worries. And then um, send our viewers back. Send him back. That sounds terrible. Right. Oh no, I need to close OBS first. I'll host you first, then I'll ring you. So hosting storm. Okay. See you later, guys. Thank you, AE, for the uh, three hundred and thirty-nine viewer host. <laughs> 